come down to the lake just to mooch around while I uh, wait for my mate Mark to make his way down from Swindon. Um, I've already seen three or four shows, so I'm absolutely gagging to get the rods out. I did come down yesterday for an hour or so, just have a little lead around and uh, see what the bottom was all about and stuff. Because yeah, I've never really, I think, like I say, I've never fished it before, never really known much about it, and like I say, it was just a tip off really from from someone I know. I've seen a few videos on YouTube and stuff, and there are some alright fishing there. I don't think there's anything massive, you know, kind of if you're talking doubles maybe the f maybe a couple of surprise 20s in the mix but um it's just a nice peaceful little water out the way of everyone yesterday i come down no one here today i come down no one here so um so yeah it's looking like it's going to be a nice day it's just good to get the rods out again really and uh have a catch up with mark because i haven't fished with him for ages now obviously i've moved to bath and um you know mark's busy with his own work and personal life as well so you know, getting these sessions are quite few and far between now, so we've really got to make the most of it. So uh, I'm just making my way back to the car park to go and meet him, and uh, we'll make our way back to the lake, and hopefully through the day, we'll um, be able to give you a bit of an update as to what's happening, and uh, hopefully put a few fish on the mat as well. So uh, yeah, let's go and grab him, and uh, we'll come back to you shortly. Right, so we're all set up finally. Just talking, whoop, slipped down the bank, just talking about Mark's French adventures and uh, his mate's Tony capture of Ivy, 60 pound plus. And uh, yeah, his rod's just ripped off. So uh, it's a lovely morning, sun shining, absolutely roasting, gagging for a brew, but uh, we've been rudely disturbed. Great little one toner. Rod tip absolutely hammering around. Just fishing in the margins, literally, you know, a couple of rod tip, a uh, couple of rod lengths off the tip of the rod. The sun's so bright. Grab the net. Any baby by the looks of it, but uh, more than welcome on a new water. Unless it's a bream. Yeah. <laughs> nice. This is where I'll just bump it off for you, mate. I think we've gone from six talking about sixty pounders to maybe a six pounder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's a start. We've seen a few fish this morning show themselves as well, so it's all encouraging. Just what you want really for a uh, Sunday morning fishing. Is that new line on there? 10 pound. Yeah. It's just ideal what you need for this, isn't it, really? Yeah, you don't need anything mental, just... No, nah, ideal for these rods as well. Soft little setup, really. Yeah. That would say we're just fishing under our rod tips, so, you know, we need to hammer these fish, play them nice and gently, light gear as well. been watching a few videos on YouTube and uh, one of the guys that we've been watching their videos of said uh, you know they do they do give up a good little account of themselves in there which is good you know you don't want to just have to reel them in you kind of enjoy the fight and stuff as well so with this uh, with this sun getting up and down this margin is pretty obvious that they were probably going to make the most of this we've seen We've seen one fish just under the surface, just uh, nosing at a few bits, and um, yeah, sat in the face of the sun with the wind wind off our backs. It's absolutely roasting, and obviously the fish have uh, decided that they want to get a piece of this as well. So. so it's a nice, nice little mirror. Yeah. Fish is a fish, mate, in my eyes. I 
I did have quite a savage line on myself earlier, but um, I was saying I'm just going to make a brew and then uh, redo the work. So I'm not too sure if I've been done or not, to be completely honest. Keep it coming, mate. There we go. Jobs are good in. We'll start. Been in there, what, half hour? Yeah, half hour. Real basic setups, we don't really complicate anything and uh, put one in the net. There we go. Real nice, plump, scaly one. Chops a good one. Nice. Cracking little fish. Lovely little scales on it. Mate, that's lovely. Pristine nick. That is stunning. Right. Real pretty little scales on him. Get him in the sunlight. So ain't gonna bother weighing it or anything, you're probably talking just, I don't know, just over double figures probably, give or take. Look at that, magic little fish, cracking scales on it. Nice in that sunlight. That's all in the bottom too, isn't it? Yeah, real nice coloration to his underside. Look at that, perfect. First cast, first fish, less than half an hour. Jobs are good then. Just flip it around, let's have a look at the other side. See, this is what I see on the videos on YouTube, a few of these scaly ones, and uh, they're a right mixture in, in this fishery. So, not quite sure what's happening to be honest. Um, I've, had, I've had a really couple of savage liners, or um, I've been done a couple of times. Now, I've had fish showing over the back end um, where I'm fishing to, and uh, I can't seem to buy a bite at the moment, so I'm just going to switch things up now. Don't know if you can see that. Got a double uh, quarter fake food to 12 mil slow sinkers there, a uh, gardener mugger hook and uh just a real simple you know basic rig really six inches in length little mini uh aligner up there just to keep you know that tucked into the swivel etc little kicker and uh just not the snotted with a loop around the back of the hook onto a swivel the fake foods just pushed onto the swivel and uh bait flossed and um tag down onto there gonna stick the little stick on the top as well just to protect that hook on the way down although it's pretty clean out there and um put that out now not too sure if there's kind of uh shying off the um the pop-up approach in the round baits with it being a water this was predominantly match fish i don't know whether they just prefer the bit so yeah got the old trusty plastic in there a couple of them on there that will sit nicely on the on the bed just uh sat upright or so with a hook ready to just for drop on the drop into that bottom lip as and when it's sucked in so let's see what happens right so mark spawny bradley's in again <laughs> no idea what it is though yeah. bit of a bitty take up down up down up down bit of a head nod on the old uh, initial lift into the fish but i think we've got a little uh, a little scrapper just been sat down there mark was just having a little nap age is catching up with him and this would be the fourth pasty of the day three ginsters for him and one pasty on the hook by the looks of it as you can see on his line there got a bit of what's that putty on your line is it yeah yeah just to pin everything down and out the way in these margins little traps there we go. Trying to get under the net, I think. It's nice to hear alarm, to be honest. Just been scratching my head, looking over the water, what to do. Seen they've been uh, taking a few of the uh, guys' mixers just down to the left of me, to be fair. 
but um, nothing really too mental for me to think about going back to the car yet to be honest. One last fight for freedom. He's in the net. Happy days. We'll uh, get him out of the net and we're loading up for the camera. So we've gone and bagged another one. Scraper double at best. Pretty little fish. Lovely little scale markings on it. Pristine condition again as well. Scraper. Scrappy little fight. Little stunner there, isn't it? Tidy markings on it again as well. On a Ronnie rig as well, apparently. Not one, not a rig that I've tried to use myself, but uh, you, might proven, need, you might need to. Yeah, proving the pudding that it works, obviously. Not the biggest of fish, but end of day, another fish and uh, another take from a new water. So, um, happy days on that. I'll say that's two nice fish with, you know lovely scales and um, banging condition again as well. Perfect little mouth, it's like miniature, miniature perfection. Nice. Slip it back yes. and try and bag ourselves another one, me this time. Do you want it in your swim mate? Yeah. Finally, just literally put Mark's rod back, uh, Mark's rod, Mark's fish even, and uh, this one's just absolutely melted off. It's gone from left, I've had to lift, lift the right hand rod out. It's gone all the way down from left to right, now he's underneath the tip in the margin, and I think he's trying to do everything to, uh, to escape. And it's a little baby ghosty by the looks of it. Right little character. Completely out of the blue. Literally was uh, wishing the rod to uh, take off just as Mark was putting the fish back and um, a little goosey. Lead's dropped off, which doesn't surprise me considering how savage the tape was. It's only a baby, but uh, they're so flippy and flippy and turny, as you can see. There's no need to really bully them in because uh, the hook will quite easily ping out, as I found earlier. So um, yeah, just let them run around under the tip. Just keep constant pressure on them, and everything should be all right. Always doing headstands anyway, put it that way. Happy days! Finally, he's let me get him up for uh, a bit of footage, but um, perfection in miniature, to be quite honest. Look at it, absolutely pristine condition. Mental little fish, and uh. Decided to try and wipe my other rod out at the same time as well, going from left to right. But uh, 
a little helping hand from Mark, we managed to um, keep it under control. But yeah, first fish of the day. Size is irrelevant when they look as crazy as this. And uh, we see a fish taking a few mixes of uh, the blokes just down the, uh, down the way there. And I swear, it's probably this fish. There's one very, very similar coming up, slurping them off the top. And uh, yeah, had very similar, similar colorings to this one. So um, who knows? But yeah, look at that. I'll try and flip it around to show you the other side. Identical both sides. Immaculate condition. Yeah, look at that. It's colours as well. Yeah. Sort of ghosty linear. Mental fish. Anyway, the rod's out. Open for some more. Clouds come over a bit now. It's a bit cooler. So hopefully that'll drive them down onto um, onto the bait that we've just been flicking out through the day. So uh, we'll get this one back and um, hopefully we'll have a couple more. It's been quite frustrating so far. They've been taking ones either side and nosing our baits and stuff and uh yeah it's been a bit frustrating but perseverance has paid off so managed to get it under the rod tip now obviously just got to play these gently because obviously the breaking strain on that bottom half is uh 10 pound give or take so um happy days hopefully he's just gone and uh just gonna spook them all into the mile swim now and uh i'll go back nick some of that oil and cast one out and have one myself job done And uh, yeah, using um, using one of my floats and uh, my my bottom gear as well, and my floaters, and uh, yeah, pretty rude if you ask me. Just with a TMT pop up. Yeah, TMT pop up, bits and some glug, and uh, yeah, jobs are good and away it's gone. They've been definitely looking like they've been up for it, so um rude of us not to get in on the action but to be fair now we've had this fish it looks like it's going to rain it's come over all grey and everything which I'm hoping is not going to kill the mood of the fish wanting to take these mixers off the top to be honest it's not fish mate nice mirror He's in, yeah. Get in there. Happy days. Get it out on the mat and uh, we'll get the camera on the go and uh, show you what we've done. Perseverance has paid off then. Managed to go and get the floaters out of the car and uh, get a couple of real basic floater setups tied up. And uh, after about half an hour's perseverance getting them going, Mark's gone and bagged this one. White TMT pop up. Literally uh, dipped in a glug and uh, he pretty much snaffled this one a minute it hit the, hit the water to be quite honest. They've been a bit finicky so far, taking everything but our hook baits in and around the area. But um, it seems to have done the trick on this one. Another real pretty, pretty fish, you know, not a mark or a, a scrape on it. Look at that, sticking his dorsal up for a uh, good effect. For that little bent, bent bit on the top there as yeah. well. Proper quality little fish, few little starburst scales down the bottom there as well. Another clean, clean fish. So we literally just chucked a handful of uh, mixers back out, try and get them going again. It's come over a bit cloudy, but um, hopefully they'll still, still carry on and start taking, and we'll uh, get the rods back out, get this one back, and see if we can bag ourselves a few more. So no, uh, no sooner would we return Mark's fish, so I had to come back round, put an extra handful of baits out, fish this one out a little bit further out than uh, the rest where we've had them from, just because it's, uh, I think the commotion of the fish has pushed these a little bit out the back of, uh, back of our baited area, and uh, I think they've become a little bit more wary, but literally, this was the only, only hook bait there and it's snappled at the minute it's hit the water. I wasn't even really paying much attention to be honest, but uh, one in the net, get it out, have a look, get some more mixes out and have another one. Right then, like I say, no sooner had Mark got in on the action, 
straight back round to my swim as you just saw there me playing another fish on the floaters whammed it out a bit further out this time they pushed out a little bit from obviously where we've uh, been fishing from so they pushed out a little bit further behind our baited patch literally just could have only just hit the water 10 seconds before it's come up and had it all like i said i wasn't even paying attention i didn't even know pretty much until uh see the float start to drift off and uh it into it this gave us a good little scrap another little minter again only a baby but when they're as pretty as this and obviously uh the good sport that you're getting in in floater fishing you really don't mind doesn't want to be famous though clearly some beautiful little scales on it look at that great sport on the light on the light end gear you know 10 pound uh, 10 pound bottom smallest float a float we could get away with marks using uh, trim down pop-ups I've just got imitation uh, imitation dog biscuit on the hook just nicked on and uh, fed up the shank of the hook and uh, this is our awards for uh, persevering with uh, everything that's chucked at us today they are still taking a few but we're gonna have to build their confidence up again but yeah when you come out for a day this is all you want really a bend in the rod few fish on the bank and again like I say it's a new water neither meal mark have ever been here I've only been down here a couple of times for a little walk around so really don't know what the score is to be honest we've just reacted to what we've seen in front of us and uh, yeah this is the end result another pretty little mirror I'm gonna slip this one back get the rod back out get some more biscuits back out see if we can bag ourselves a few more uh, right then so this one was like a scene at Jaws, to be honest. Saw the shadow of the fish, just making its way from left to right to uh, to my uh, hook bait. And literally was just saying to each other, it's going to go for it. It's going for it. And it, was, it was literally right in the line of my hook bait. And yeah, it just followed it, followed it, followed it. And bang, away it went. It was literally, like I say, a scene at Jaws. You could have just done the old theme tune to this, to the uh, following it to the hook bait. But look at it. Absolute minter. Look at the scales on it crazy fish, your dorsal's all bent, little little nicks out of the fins and stuff, but look at the scale pattern and the colours on this one, absolutely made up with this one, and they're still having it now, it's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon, they're still taking floaters, it's overcast, it's quite mild, and we're still catching fish like this, it's crazy, just going to flip it around and show you the other side, it's just as beautiful as that side to be quite honest, Oops. It's just having a bit of a spaz out. But look at the scales on it. Look at that for a fish. You can't complain when you're having these one a chuck on a new water. Size is irrelevant when, like I say, I say it all the time when they're as pretty as this. Just look at the scale patterns on it. The mouth is so clean. The fish are so clean. Such great sport gagging to get the rod back out already I can't get him in and can't get him in quick enough to get the rod back out to be quite honest there's a good half a dozen fish out there already still taken and after every fish just before we're bringing them up to the mat we're just making sure we put a couple more handfuls of uh, mixes out just to keep them there just keep them in the area and uh, they're just coming back for more you know catching one of their mates is they're not scaring off or uh, shying away. All we're going to do is get this one back and then uh, see if we can carry on and uh, get some more for you. Right then, so we're back in Mark Swim. Oh, net's going in. And uh, he's going to got another one. Literally, the mixer just hit the water and it's gone straight away. There's one out there, it's like a ghosty, carroty type coloured one in what it looks like in the water and I seriously want him and he's been circling my baits for a good five minutes but he's not giving it up. So yeah, Mark's in. This one's no bream mate. No, yeah, I literally, I forgot to say, yeah, I had a bream on a mixer. What the hell is that all about? My first bream caught mix, uh, mixer caught bream.
quite good, mate. Yeah, great scrap on this light gear. Like my wheels are a bit stiff to be honest to really appreciate the uh, the fight. But um, I didn't bully him in, you know, could easily probably, you know, just skull drag him into the net, but I like to give him the respect and just um, play him for, for what he's worth. Mark's got a lot of a lot lighter setup than myself. Small reels, lighter rods, ten pound main line to a ten pound zig line and uh, seems to be doing the business really. Another little scaly mirror on the floaters. Mark's just moved off a uh, white pop-up as well onto uh, imitation dog biscuit because uh, he seemed to be shying off his hook bait. But uh, this one definitely wasn't shy to be quite honest. Snaffled it the minute it touched the water. Little scamp, little scamp of a mirror. But great fun, all of it, nonetheless. Biscuit that it's on the edge of his lip. Job done. Another one in the net. Happy days. Right, another one. Bites the dust. Another cracking little mirror. Little torpedo. Had this one on an imitation, imitation uh, dog biscuit. Matches the rest of them out there. Switch from a white pop up so we're just shying off a little bit now. They're getting a little bit wary, not so take not taking with so much gusto this time. So um yeah, cracking. Just push they're just pushing away as well from the, the bulk pack of biscuits. So uh they're just trying to pick them off now really one by one. But yeah, that one wasn't shy in uh having a go. It's just these mirrors are just cracking, they've got such mental scale patterns on them and you know little broken linears and half half linears and stuff, it's mental. But again, another great nick fish and you know no damage or anything. Cracking. I'm gonna get this one back and get the uh, get the kettle on, so we'll catch up with you in a bit. Right, so we're in again. This time I uh, pretty much smashed it over to the other side of the uh, other side of the lake because they pushed right off this time. I see a handful of fish over there. Just one uh, one mixer out there, which was mine, and uh, yeah, pretty much took it straight away to be honest. Given a good little account of itself, like the rest of them have done on this uh, light bottom. I ain't managed to get it up yet, so I don't know what it is, but the rest of uh, bin mirrors, I'm pretty sure this is going to be one as well, to be fair. I don't know if you can see in the background, but they're still having odd mixers that have floated away from the pack. So, um, hooking these fish. Uh, oh, it is a common. Haha, <laughs> password. First common of the day. Did have a seagull just come over just a minute ago, looking like it was going to uh, end all activity, but he's seen done one, so um, just on that. Literally just as he flew over my hook bait, this fish decided to uh, take this mix up. So, Seagull might have just done me a favour to be honest. A little bit of competition between bird and fish. And that's another one in the net. Come on. Right then, I've lost count how many we've had each to be quite honest. But, uh, finally, got a little common. They're still slurping the mixers out there, a treat. Literally just banged a couple of pouches out there before getting him on the map. There we go, another pristine little fish, cracking little common, this one's taken from a good three quarters of the way over, like I say they must have just been the drifters of the mixers to be quite honest, because there wasn't many out there, and uh, this one's pretty much taken it straight away, so we're uh, finally getting a brew on the go, both of us can't resist chucking the rod out for one extra cast, it's like, but uh, yeah, slip this one back, get a brew on the go probably drink that whilst playing some more fish and uh, see if we can bag ourselves a few more before home time but 
day's getting on, I think it's just gone five now. So uh, we're going to just try and make the most of this day really. It's been a great session so far, so many fish on the bank, it's been a brilliant day out to be fair. So um, let's slip this one back and we'll come back to you in a little while. Right then, so we're just going to do a slow pack down now, the swim's an absolute mess, there's stuff everywhere. Literally, the last four hours have just been absolutely manic to be honest. We've just been trying to make the most of these floater opportunities and uh, obviously by the fish that you've seen we've uh, just had them coming one after another. So um, I still have one rod made up with the uh, uh, sort of leg clip set up from earlier that I reeled in because we wanted to focus on the uh, floater fishing. That's gone out now um, with one of the PVA bags that Mark still had had made up so we've just chucked that out over to the reed line whilst we're packing down in case we can nick a nick a cheeky fish whilst we're packing down but um but yeah we've had a load of fish today and uh we've had a great day out to be honest and like i say it's a new water so um everything's been been spot on really so we'll definitely be coming back again um thanks for watching the blog sorry there's not been much sort of in you know like educational or what we've been doing rig wise or anything that we've literally been trying to make make the most of these last four hours with uh like i say the floater fishing so um yeah don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh check out my page on facebook and um i will uh come back to you another time with another video cheers